Hello, welcome to The Sun in War, a weekly program produced and directed by the members of Sarapatmans International of Novato. I am Sylvia Berry, and I will be your host today. Sarapatmans International of Novato is a group of business and professional women whose primary mission is to improve the lives of women and girls, both locally and globally. What better way to enhance the lives of our citizens than to have a working film, performing arts, and culture center right here in downtown Novato. Today, just a little over a year after the Novato Theater nonprofit group officially owns the Downtown Novato Historical Theater in February 2012, I'm very pleased to have Distro, one of the co-founding partners of CSW ST2 Engineering Group, a community leader, the 1992 Novato Citizen of the Year and a board member of the Novato Theater Nonprofit Group join us and give us an update on the theater renovation project. Thank you for having me. Sure. And uh, I have admired you from afar for many uh -oh, years uh -oh. now. So, uh, now <laughs> yes, <we're in> trouble. <laughs> now you're in trouble. Yeah. So I'm very pleased to have you here. So before we start, I was wondering, can you give us a little bit of background on how you got on to this very important project? <laughs> <laughs> Well, it actually started in 1947 or 46, I guess. Uh, I was at the first opening mm -hmm. of the theater when I was 10 years old. And uh, I fell in love with the theater then. And then, of course, through my teenage years, I had my own seat, so to speak, in the theater. And oh. uh, so I, I, you know, and of course, it stopped showing film and all the rest. But uh, uh, it, I have a great love for that theater. And I think it should be restored, and we're well on our way to do that. Mm -hmm. Well, Dee, I think I'm speaking for most of the people. And uh, uh, first, we would like to know what's the current status of the project. Well, we're in the process of, well, let me back up. We actually um, are in the process of c completing a um, business plan, mm -hmm. uh, revising the business, existing business plan, and um, getting that off the ground, which includes the fact that we've already funded a number of items, i.e., uh, the uh, seismic retrofitting, uh, seismic uh, study, uh, the hazardous study, and uh, it looks like a go. Uh -huh. It really does. And um, uh, so with the business plan, we're going to go out with to um, uh, prospective donors, and uh, hopefully we have some peop people in the community, and we think we have isolated some of those folks, and uh, start speaking to them about some large, uh, large donations to make, make it happen. Mm -hmm. But we're on our way. It's, it's looking good. That's great. Yeah, because I think that's uh, what uh, people are kind of wondering about. And uh, we also see you have a lot of fundraising activity this com coming up. It's yeah. really nice to yes. know that yes. yes. yeah. 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 you're targeting some of the larger oh, yeah. donors, too. Oh, yeah. yeah. Yeah, well, you right yeah. off. Uh -huh. We needed the, needed the business plan mm -hmm. and, uh, and updating it to mm -hmm. the present cost of what it's going to cost to make this happen and uh, the performer as far as operating the thing. Mm -hmm. And uh, I'm really excited. I, 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 <laughs> as I said before, it, it's, it's my love, that's, that, mm -hmm. that theater, because mm -hmm. uh, mm -hmm. I literally grew up with it. Mm -hmm. so, so let's go back a little bit for the people who don't quite know about the whole scope of the project. You know, I believe I heard something about $3 million total from the beginning, well, and uh, how much have you raised? You know, when you say this part is funded and vice versa, we've raised. We've raised. Uh, we actually have in the bank uh, half a million dollars, mm -hmm. and uh, the first phases of all this stuff is being funded, which includes the design and the and the the plans for the theater. We have uh, the preliminary plans being developed right now, um, and uh, things moving along very well from that standpoint. Uh, we we need to get the the business plan out and then once we do that then we can get going and start getting some money coming in and making things happen mm -hmm. and uh, um, and I, I, I guess when you talk about you know you, you study all the systematic and stuff like that with the 
so do have the plan being approved by the city? Oh, well, it, it always has to go through the city mm -hmm. process. Yes, We've been informed that the city will be very uh, 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 acceptable to whatever comes out. Mm -hmm. uh, well, that's wait and see on something like that. But mm -hmm. uh, uh, I think the city, as, as, as part owner or was an owner at one time, they're going to want to be helpful. So I think we, we, this thing should move along fairly easily. That's great to, to hear that. Uh, I also heard about the fact that, uh, you know, a lot of money or, or amount that you raise, part of those is really uh, in-kind donation, like mm -hmm. people donate a service and material yeah. and things like that. Well, so we, what we're doing is in the business plan, we, we, it's, it's actually, we think a lot of that will come forth. Mm -hmm. And what we think the total cost will be, probably be less because of the in-kind. Mm -hmm. But we haven't tapped into, we're not... Uh, it, we, we're trying to be practical about the fact that we need the money to make it all work. Now, mm -hmm. if the folks don't show up and, you know, do the plumbing for some reason or other, <laughs> we need to have somebody come in and do the plumbing and that mm -hmm. type of thing. So, mm -hmm. uh, but we do have a number of people that want to be involved in all different levels, all different levels. Mm -hmm. It's kind of neat. Mm -hmm. This is communities come together. Mm -hmm. So how big is the group, like, active members right now? Oh, that's a question. I'm sorry, I don't know. I that's really okay. don't. The board no, itself yeah. is four people, five people. Mm -hmm. And um, uh, the, the group itself is, uh, I don't know. I really don't know, but it's a lot. It's a mm -hmm. lot. And, mm -hmm. um, and the activities that have occurred in the last couple of years uh, have been just people show up. They want to see it active again. They want to see that theater glowing. They want to see it active like it used to be. Mm -hmm. It yeah. was nice. Yeah. Um, <laughs> you know, I, I, you know, we talk about that you have the plan. You, you know, you're doing mm -hmm. revising the business plan, and then you have the design, and you know, then maybe we raise the money for destruction of the interior, and then possibly the not possibly for sure construction. So, how much more money do you think the the well, money be, you have to be in the bank? Well, that's a good point. It's a good that. question. We uh, the uh, construction, destruction, and construction <laughs> costs somewhere around two point three million, mm -hmm. and uh, that's what we need to raise mm -hmm. that piece to get that the thing constructed. Then on top of that is the operating portion and the interior uh, uh, stuff that goes in there, and we call stuff, I mean the sound systems and all the rest. So that's another m about a million three. Mm -hmm. So the first phase is getting the construction going, what have you, and we hope that a lot of the um, uh, equipment that we're going to need, it's, it's, it's state-of-the-art equipment, and uh, we'll, um, hopefully some of that will be donated through the process. So. Uh, we haven't reached out yet to everybody that has said we want help. We want help until we know that we have a plan, and now we have a plan. Now things are happening. Now things are going on, and it's really, as I said before, kind of mm -hmm. neat. Something's happening, which is good. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yeah, and uh, and uh, I have also seen some kind of drawing about uh, uh, about a theater, you oh. know, and uh, um, uh, let's see. One of the drawing on the plane of the theater. Yep, Do yep, you think that, you can share a little theater, bit? That's the plane of the theater, right. Yeah. The 240 so. uh, uh, seats uh, downstairs, uh, plus a complete theater with staging, um, dressing rooms, and, and, and the whole total stage. And then upstairs will be a, um, a small uh, theater for digital, digital type of uh, work. And uh, it's about 40 or 50 seats upstairs. Oh, really? That also uh -huh. will be able to use, free people in the community will be able to use that for uh, meetings mm -hmm. because the seats will move around and we can make that a meeting room. But um, so you've got the two things going on. You mentioned earlier the cultural center. That's, that's really what it's going to become. Mm -hmm. Cultural center for tomorrow. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So the theater will be open? For everybody. For everybody? Everybody. Well, and, uh, not all day long. A, yeah, I mean, not, you know. not all day long, really. <laughs> 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 okay. <laughs> um, so what is, uh, do you guys have a, you know, talking about a business plan, do you have some kind of projected time frame uh -huh. um, being able to raise, you know, a quarter so much? And Our plan is to hope, hopefully raise the money this year. Mm -hmm. 2000, the whole two? 2013. Really? Uh -huh. And then start construction maybe the end of this year or early next year. 
Uh-huh. And uh, then obviously, uh, as soon as that can be done, and we, we assume probably a year's time, a f- time frame to construct the work, do the work. Uh-huh. Because you, gotta, you have to think about this. Everything is in the whole theater is gone other than the walls. Mm-hmm. That's all that's left. Mm-hmm. So I have to have a new roof, a new, new uh, floor, seats, the whole front that has to be rebuilt, all the rest. Mm-hmm. So. So uh, one year, two million, 2.3 million? Hey. Uh-huh. I'm the most optimistic person in the world. It's of course, happen. you can accomplish a lot, and that's why, yeah. And that's actually part of the reason why I kind of want to ask you, they actually ask you to be on the board because, oh, the thank you. you know, the background you have and uh, what you can bring in there, uh-huh. uh, I suppose, the engineering. and yeah, uh, Some of that, yeah. uh-huh. whatever. Uh, and whatever. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Um, so uh, I, I, I think, you know, that what we talk about can be films, and mm-hmm. can be performing arts and also culture center. You kind of touched upon that a little bit. Do, do can you tell us a little bit? Uh, well, a little bit more concept on. I think group? I think uh, it's as as a community cultural center. Mm-hmm. If you visualize this thing, that you could have people wanting to do dance dances there, do uh, uh, Samarin doing some of their plays there, uh, Nevada High some mm-hmm. doing their plays there. Uh, all three of my daughters went to the drama class in at San Marin, uh-huh. and my, my oldest daughter teaches drama and music in uh, at at, San, at Terra Linda, and she always had breakfast with us this morning. She says, "I'd love to put a performance on there." The summer, the summer theater programs, um, uh, all the way to maybe doing the Super Bowl party, tele uh, whatever they call it, teleconference, you know. Uh, you know, telecommunication and, and having that, you know, that type of stuff. So, plus, what's nearly neat mm-hmm. is seeing and showing classic films, hmm. foreign films, classic foreign films. You know, such films as Casablanca. I really talks about Casablanca. Oh, yeah, well, well, a lot of people still haven't seen that. Um, and those type of things, uh, film, foreign films. Uh, so, what, what I would love to see is a whole group of films showing the little rascals, uh-huh. the little characters in the 30s. You know, uh, my grandson loves them, and he's eight, nine, ten years old. So, anyway, that's it's it's a full encompassing thing. Well, when I was growing up in Taiwan, uh, we used to actually have a field trip to go to the movie theater and uh, to watch you know, movies together, which is pretty great. Yeah, see. Yeah, so, and uh, I was also wondering, you were talking about operation cost. Um, you know, I, I assume that when the theater is f- finally in production and in order to go forward, how do we get community involved? Are they going to be a member of the theater? Are they going to be paying? How, how does that work? Uh, that's, that's a good point. Um, the reason I say that is that we're still formulating that thrust as far as how the folks will right now it's donations mm-hmm. so you donate money to it and it gets built and we do all we we would we assume we will have an like, like lark theater an ongoing uh fundraising program on a yearly basis where people will uh, put money and make it happen and work so we think that's going to be part of the performer mm-hmm. so okay so that's still being still being know, formulated still be, okay um so that's kind of interesting. And, uh, and uh, in my mind, I'm also wondering about uh, when the effort first started this time around. And uh, we, ha- we know we have some big concert going on and where the community members are very excited about it. You know, we have a lot of money that's donated by the community neighbor. I was wondering, how do we get that going for this time around? <laughs> you know, how do we make people excited about the project again? And, you know, which the things that's been going on. Well, it's a, it's a, it's like everything else, uh, and I'm I'm involved in a lot of uh, fundraising and also a lot of uh, sponsorship stuff that people do for various or various things that go on in the community, and I and I think the community is engaged. It's 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 a matter of them, uh, you know, as far as getting them more involved in in the process and finding out that maybe something will happen, maybe it mm-hmm. is going to happen, mm-hmm. uh, and that's really where we are right now. I'm I'm really totally enthused and this was a meeting that we just had here this week the board meeting and things started gelling mm-hmm. started coming together mm-hmm. and once that happens I think people will think oh, oh I want to be part of this 
and yeah, and hopefully we can sense. get some large sponsors. Mm-hmm. We're just a matter of reaching out. Mm-hmm. And I think one of the uh, the major um, reaching out that you did is the, uh, this. I heard about this uh, filmmaker Robin Friday. Oh, yeah. yeah she's going to come she's and help out. Else. Yeah. 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 Uh-huh. She uh, she wants to do a um, she wants to do a uh, uh, documentary. Mm-hmm. about this whole process and uh, starting way back taking pictures and doing all kinds of stuff as like most documentaries do so she's contacted me mm-hmm. and says I understand you went to the theater when you were 10 years old when it first opened oh, okay. mm-hmm. and uh, so uh, if she proceeds with this I assume I'll be somewhat a part of it so, but that is big that is totally big what she's doing. Mm-hmm. She's uh, Oscar nominated. I know. Her, right? Isn't that neat? Yeah, yeah it's great. Yeah, yeah, that she's giving back to the community. Yeah. You know, with her accomplishments. Yeah. So that's really wonderful. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And it's pretty. Cu- and you know what? There's a number of people in this community that have that same talent. Mm-hmm. We, they, you don't see, hear much about them, but all of a sudden, boom, they're there. And uh, they're coming forth, mm-hmm. forward, forward. My neighbor is. Uh, probably doesn't like me to say this tom johnson who is with the doobie brothers oh know, really and, uh-huh. you know, uh-huh. i always ask him would you do a play for us or do you know do something no 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 no, no. <laughs> well you know novato is kind of interesting town because i i learned throughout the years there's so many little pockets that uh, you have a hidden talent there and uh, we have so many young talents to marine school mm-hmm. arts novato mm-hmm. you know the same marine high yes. school you know, the kids just go, you know, yeah. Uh, yeah, last, uh, last night we have some kids write the music uh, that's yeah. on Smash, yeah. you know, things like that. Somebody else will be on David Letterman yeah, the, tonight. Uh, yeah, the Letterman. Actually. Yeah. yeah, uh-huh. yeah. Uh-huh. So those are all homegrown boys uh, that's in performing <laughs> arts. That's right. So that's great, yeah. And uh, I was wondering, from your involvement so far, what do you think will be the biggest obstacle, obstacle you guys have to conquer? Well, obviously, the money thing is uh, is big, but uh, uh, I really, the way the commu- community is responding, I mean, we have some negative stuff, but it's starting to d- dissolve. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. And I, again, as I said, I think people are starting to realize, or will re- start realizing that the things are starting to happen. Uh, the biggest obstacle is, of course, make your work. Always is. Uh, and that's going to take a lot of talent to make that happen. Uh, but we've had a lot of interest for all kinds of different uh, organizations that want to be uh, involved and not involved, I'm sorry, but be, be, on, be on the stage. Mm-hmm. That's great. Oh, yeah. yeah, and also with the economy that's going better now, I see downtown Novato is actually thriving yeah. again. Yeah. So I think that's really wonderful. That's going to help. Yeah. That's going to really help. Yeah, and I remember last year during Christmas time, they have caroling. Yeah. And uh, I just saw the Novato Theater lights up, and yeah. I think that's really exciting for us. Well, I think yeah. so, and especially it'll basically look the same out front, but a little bit different, but a little more... Um, I don't even know the word was for it, for a 30-ish, you know, kind of Golden Gate Bridge look type of... Oh, really? Uh-huh. Yeah, you know, uh-huh. and uh, it, it, I think it's going gonna to be a sparkle downtown. Yeah, you have a little uh, picture oh, up oh there? Yeah. yeah. Yeah, yeah, here. Uh-huh. So I don't know, maybe they can... Yeah. yeah, so that's the drawing of a Novato Theater. Don't know if yep. you can see it or not. You can see all yeah. that. Basically, it's the same here. This would be the same, but the, the whole thing would be changed somewhat. Now, this is one idea. We have two other ideas. Bring some life back to uh, Novato. Yeah. Oh, right, yeah. right, 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 mm-hmm. right, right. Okay. Well, I'm very glad that you come over and give us a little bit update about Novato Theater. And it uh, sounds like we have a lot of exciting things going on that uh, we're going to look forward to this year, you yeah. know, in, our, in well. our society, in our community for this effort. Thank you for uh, having me. Yeah, it's a, my it's a joy. Yeah. Always a joy. It's my pleasure to have you here. And uh, we also want to thank uh, Liang and Rick of uh, Novato Public Television TV for helping us every week. And thank you for tuning in.